Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erla and today I will be unboxing, um, I believe this is the um, Sugar Muses Deluxe, but it might be the Midnight Muses Lux. It's one of those two. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, Sugar Muses offers their standard um, like Midnight Muses box for $30 and then they have Sugar Muses Deluxe which is more on the lighter side um, for $60 and then Midnight Muses Lux is like their gothic version of it also $60 so anyway this one is Sugar Muses and so this is what you see right on top. Um, the theme this month. Oh, I'm getting quite a lot of shadow there. Let's try that. Um, the theme this month is Goddess Illumination. And just ignore the fact that you probably could have read what's in this box. I've not read it. I have peeked. Um, a couple other unboxings but I'm forgetful as we know so anyway we have this nice print for Freya and it says Norse goddess of love fertility and abundance which and I'm not sure how to say this word here wife to Odin Freya is the Norse goddess of love, beauty, witchcraft, fertility, and gold abundance, and is one of the major goddesses of Norse mythology. Aphrodite would be considered her Greek goddess equivalent. She practiced Norse witchcraft called Sidir, which was a solitary art where the seed witch Sorry, I'm bad with pronunciation. <laughs> oh, I have two prints. Hold on. Sorry, they were kind of stuck together. Um, was not a member of a coven as found in Wicca and similar New Age construct. Sidir, or rather cedar, is a form of magic that was mainly done by women. It is said that Freya was the mistress of this art and taught it to Odin. This type of traditional witchcraft flourished during the Northern European Iron Age. This practice requires altering consciousness and raising energy. It includes shamanic skills such as spirit journeying and weatherworking, spellcasting, divination, and to shape energy through a word and will. Many Satru practitioners today honor Freya as a goddess of fertility, abundance, and beauty. A common rite from modern Freya worshippers is to bake foods that have some connection to love in one way or another, such as chocolate. Do you bake chocolate? Sorry, I'm being being a stinker. I don't want this to put glare, but oh goodness. Alright. Sorry if it has some glare, guys. Okay, so the second art print looks like this, and it's for hibiscus. So it says, powers are clairvoyance, lust, love, and divination. Gender is feminine. Names are rose mallow element is water and planet is Venus and it says the name hibiscus refers actually to a genus including about 200 species of plants a number of which have medicinal uses hibiscus abomastus an emulsion made from the seeds is said to be useful for spasmodic problems an emulsion made with milk can be used for itchy skin. In Egypt, the seeds are chewed to relieve stomach problems, to soothe the nerves, and to sweeten the breath. Egyptians also consider the seeds to have aphrodisiac powers. Hibiscus moss 
Jutos abounds in mucilage, leaves and roots of this plant like those of related species and genera used in demulcent and emollient in dysentery and lung and urinary ailments. Hibiscus, oh my gosh, Rosa sinensis, <laughs> Rose of China, Chinese hibiscus grown mostly for ornament. This shrub or small tree also has astringent and demulcent properties. A decoction of roots is used as an eyewash in Malaya. The bark is used in Asia as an uh, amenagogue encourages menstrual flow. The flowers are said to be an astringent. The flowers are usually used for fevers and minor stomach and intestinal complaints. Magical uses. The flowers of a red hibiscus are brewed into a strong red tea, which is drunk for its lust-inducing powers. This drink is forbidden to women in Egypt for this very reason. The blossoms have also been used in love incense and sachets. They are placed in wreaths in marriage ceremonies in the tropics. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so hard to read. <clears throat> oh, this is really cute. Look at that little sticker. This is our oracle card. I really like that they put theirs um, in little envelopes. And you best believe I'm going to use that envelope for something. So I got gladioli. Set boundaries well to ensure good growth. These are pretty cards. Let's just pop that right back in there. Oh, I tore the sticker a little. That's okay. All right. Getting straight into the box. <clears throat> On the very top, I see this nice... Um, let me turn this off. I'm getting annoyed by it. So we have a really good amount of rose. I actually transferred, um, oh, look at this little sticker. I honestly thought this was a real flower because I'm a little bit blind. <laughs> um, so I transferred my tea and my mint into my jars yesterday and they give you like a lot of stuff like this is such a good amount anyway the next thing is some hibiscus which I might not transfer to my jars because I have a crap ton of hibiscus in there oh we got a little white baggie I like that they tie it into that cute little bow this is a really nice sachet. I think this is a rose quartz. It's not very pink, but I'm pretty sure that this is rose quartz. I guess we'll find out. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have another little flower sticker. I don't want to lose these. I feel like they'd be easy for me to lose. Ooh. Dark chocolate, chocolate noir. Cult chocolate. Yeah. That's cool. Oh my gosh, so one thing that I've loved ever since I started, oh, I broke it a little bit, that's okay. Ever since I started watching um, Stacy's unboxings is I have loved these little um, dried flower bundles. They are just the cutest freaking thing. Like, 
I was really sad because I was like, oh no, they've stopped doing them um, before I had a chance to join. So I was really glad to see in her unboxing. That's the one thing I remember from watching the unboxing. Oh, okay, never mind. Thought I broke something. Um, that's the one thing I remember from watching her unboxing for this box was seeing that that was back and I was so excited. Anyway, the next thing is a Freya candle. Ooh. Oh, this smells sweet. I love that. So when I first started, let's move that down here. When I first started practicing um, witchcraft or studying witchcraft, I was super, super into Freya. She was like my favorite goddess for a really long time. So I'm actually like really excited to see her represented in this box. So the next thing we have is our oil which I love that they give these. Um, I can already smell it and I haven't even opened it. It is called Love Song Oil. Mm. And this one has not leaked, just saying. Oops, sorry, I shook you guys a little bit. Oh, that smells so pretty. gonna roll all over the place let's do that I want to have the artwork facing up all right so next thing I think is the last thing it's quite large let me just make sure that this is the last thing in the box oh no there is more under there <clears throat> So we have some jasmine incense. Mm, I can't tell if I can smell it through the packaging or if it's just me being cray. Okay, and then we have some love song ritual salts. It looks like it comes with a little tea light in there. Let me pick up some of the stuff making a mess everywhere. Okay. <laughs> I want to open it and smell it. I wonder, does it smell like our spray? But, um, I don't really use these. I have a huge hoard of the Witch's Moon ones, but I think I'm going to hang on to it just in case anyway, but it has rose petals, hibiscus, and sandalwood inside. And I'm betting it does smell like that since they're named the same. And then the last thing, the main event, is this here, which I vaguely remember from Stacy's unboxing. Is Freya. How cool is that? And I can't remember, like, if this is wood or if it, what it is, but this is so cool. Like, I've not seen a statue like this before. So, anyway, let's go ahead and read about everything that came in this box. Oh, this is a two-pager. Okay. So, it says... February spell and energy work. This month we celebrate self-love and care along with the goddess Freya and what she represents. The story of goddess Freya. Freya is the goddess of love and fertility in Norse mythology and she is associated with blessings, lust, beauty, and sorcery. The name Freya means lady and it can, for instance, also be spelled. I'm not going to read out the spellings. There you go. Freya is a very important goddess in Norse mythology, probably more than people realize. She is, according to some, the highest of... Oh, God. 
<laughs> Sorry. Um, Assinger. I don't know. It's right here. However you say that. The principal pantheon in Norse mythology. And one could argue that her status is almost on par with Odin. Norse gods are divided into two subgroups. The Asir and the Vanir. Freya and her family are part of the Vanir. It was Freya who taught magic, Old Norse, to Odin and the rest of the Asir. Previously, it was only practiced by the Vanir. It is said that she was born knowing the divine secrets of witchcraft and the runes. The Vanir were shapeshifters associated with magic, creative energy, the sea, prophecy, eroticism, fertility, and sh shamanism. Freya loves to travel and she has various options to choose from. The most famous one is probably her chariot pulled by two cats, possibly lynxes. She can also choose her cloak of falcon feathers from her wardrobe. This cloak is magical and it allows her to fly anonymously through the skies. The essential oils associated with her are benzoin, birch, cypress, myrrh, rose, and sandalwood. Offerings to Freya can include any of these items along with her favorite foods, ale, apples, barley, flowers, honey, and mead. Treating cats well is one way to pay homage to her, either by feeding feral cats or adopting them. As the goddess of love, she enjoys love poems and songs explaining her association with the month of February. Freya's personality type manifests in her compassionate nature, intuition, and strong sense of values. She is a deep, introspective character who is driven by her desire to protect those she cares about and live a life that aligns with her beliefs. Of course, when we honor a goddess or god, we are acknowledging and honoring those same aspects in ourselves. We hold a mirror up and see the traits of Freya and find independence, strength, and determination within us just as we see it within her. The items in this month's box may be used in the order they are listed, or you separately as you are called to do. They are curated to help you and sorry to help inspire you on your journey. Metaphysical properties of items and tools for this month are listed below. <clears throat> Excuse me. It says light a jasmine incense stick and let the cleansing smoke swirl around you and your space. Incense can be burned at the beginning of rituals, meditation, or spells to cleanse your space and to set intentions of your ritual. The smoke also charges your crystals and altar and represents the element of air as well as fire. It is said that when a spell is done, it raises the spell up into the ether. This blend is a certified organic and vegan. The ancient magical properties of jasmine include love, meditation, relaxation, prophetic dreaming, and confidence use in a fireproof incense holder. This is rose quartz, by the way. <clears throat> so it says rose quartz is a cherished crystal, carries profound symbolism associated with love, compassion, and emotional healing, making it a staple in the world of witchcraft and spirituality. Aligned with the heart chakra, rose quartz serves as a powerful magnet for love, whether it's attracting romantic partners or fostering self-love and compassion. It's a versatile tool in enhancing the harmony of relationships and healing emotional wounds. So they give you a little spell here for the bath salts, if you'd like to read it. <clears throat> It's a self-love bath ritual. And then it says, apply some love song perfume oil to your pulse points. Anointing oils are a powerful means of dedicating yourself and your magical components with energies correspondent to your intent. The special blend contains notes of bergamot, rose, sandalwood, and benzoin in an organic almond oil base. It smells sweeter than just those. Maybe I'm smelling the bergamot. I don't know. <clears throat> so we have dried rose. Magical properties include love, psychic powers, lust. Sorry, luck, not lust. <laughs> love, divination, and protection. Roses are also linked to female intuition, dream work, avoiding conflict, beauty, confidence, trust, 
sorry, truth and passion. Due to their high vibrational energy, rose petals are considered powerful aids in manifestation rituals. Their energy can help attract desires into one's life. Sprinkle around your candle or your statue as an offering to the goddess or around the house to create a tranquil, peaceful home environment. Do not consume. Oh my gosh, is today the 13th? Why did I think we were already past Valentine's Day? I was, like, totally not focused on Valentine's Day at all. I was, like, I've been in the mode of Ostara, <laughs> so maybe I'll do a little self-love something-something with Freya tomorrow. Is today Tuesday? I don't even know. Oh, my God. Okay, anyway, back to this. Place the Freya statue in the center of your altar. The statue is made out of poly resin. Okay, not wooden. I didn't think so. It doesn't feel like it, but they did a good job making it look like wood. Um, to resemble wood <laughs> and stand six inches tall. She is depicted with her iconic attributes such as cats and her cloak of falcon feathers. Where are the cats? Oh, there they are. How cute. I am so not observant. Um, light the Freya soy candle. <clears throat> this candle was hand poured to set intentions of self-love, independence, and strength. Organic soy wax infused with notes of grapefruit, cherry tobacco, ginger, and amber accords. By the way, that little tea light I got in the... um. Midnight Muses box. My husband smelled it and like immediately wanted it. So <laughs> that's not mine anymore. That's fine. I share things with him out of these boxes. Like he is into witchcraft, but he um is really too busy to practice right now. But like the interest is still there. So whenever he sees something that he really likes out of the box, even if I want it for myself. I give it to him because it's rare that he, like, shows a huge interest in anything right now. He works um, two jobs. He's going to school full-time. And he was, for a while there, also in a band. So, he has a pretty full plate. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. You guys didn't probably care to know. <laughs> um... So it says, candles contain all four elements, air, oxygen feeds and fans the candle flame, earth, solid wax forms the body of the candle, water, melting wax represents the fluid elemental state, and fire, the flame sparks and blazes, vegan and cruelty-free, eco-friendly wick, never leave burning candles unattended, blah, blah, blah. Botanical offering, what's a botanical offering? Oh, this here. It says these bundles were created with natural dried grasses and botanicals contain fern, baby's breath, and bunny tails, among others, placed in front of the statue as an offering to Freya or use as seasonal decor on your altar. When you are ready, ground yourself by releasing any excess energy by letting it soak into the earth beneath you. You may also wish to ground yourself with some food and drink. Enjoy a bite of chocolate with this chocolate heart by Cult Chocolate. We have the Freya art print designed by Christy. Hibiscus art print designed by Kaori. That's Style 24 Designs. Intuitively drawn inspiration card. And that deck that that is from is Flower Petal Inspiration Cards on <clears throat> their website. They have it. It says, in honor of Freya and her magical cats, a portion of this month's proceeds will be donated to One by One Cat Rescue, a local shelter here in eastern Pennsylvania. That's awesome. I love cats. They're, like, one of my favorite animals. Um, yeah. That's pretty freaking awesome. I love this box. This is, like, really 
cool. I would have to say my favorite item in this box was probably this candle. It just smells so good and sweet. It has to be the grapefruit that I'm smelling, honestly, but it just smells so good. And I love all the, like, pink floral vibes. Um, kind of feeling stupid that I forgot literally all about, um, Valentine's Day. Wow. But it's okay. This got here just in time, so I'll probably use some of this and whip up a little some kind of like self-love thing but yeah anyway that was my sugar muses deluxe box um yeah i'll see you here shortly to open the midnight muses luxe anyway thank you so much for watching i will see you soon bye